Now go back to Hebrews chapter 6 with me. Because I want to show you something in verse 18 of Hebrews 6. Keep a marker, though, because if I get to it, I want to tell you about the words of these cities. But let's go to Hebrews 6 and verse 18. Because the writer of Hebrews tells us in verse 18 that Christ, Jesus the Lord, is portrayed in these cities of refuge. Jesus is pictured by these cities, is what he's saying. He says, you have fled for refuge to the the ultimate city of refuge, which is Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is portrayed by the cities of refuge. Verse 18 says, And the similarities between the cities of refuge and Christ, who is our refuge, are very striking. And I just want to go back over this list. If you wrote it down, if you didn't, now you can, okay? Uh, Let me tell you about the history lesson and how it points to Jesus Christ as our city of refuge. Number one, Christ is easy to reach. Those cities were supposed to be spaced all over the place so they were easy to reach. Guess what? Jesus Christ is as near to any person on this planet as them calling out to him. Now that is accessibility. You don't have to haul someone from Nepal and take them to Dallas or Tulsa or New York City or the latest Billy Graham crusade. Jesus Christ is accessible in Tibet He's accessible in Mongolia, and he's accessible in Broken Arrow equally. Jesus Christ is easy to reach. We may cast ourselves on Christ at any time and in any place. And the church is supposed to be the one telling the good news. Remember I told you about the runners that were employed by the Levitical system, and they were supposed to be looking for people that are being chased, and they're supposed to run to them and tell them how to get into the city where the gate was and how to get in? That's our job. That's why Ted was showing you the new track. We're supposed to be the runners going into all the world to preach the gospel. The church is to cry refuge, refuge to a lost world. The emphasis is made at the very end of the Bible in the book of Revelation. You know, one of the last verses of Revelation 22.17 says this, and I'll read it to you. And the spirit and the bride say, come. Do you see the arms open wide? Do you see the easy to access? Do you see the, the open invitation, the unlocked door? And the Spirit and the Bride, Revelation 22, say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let anyone who is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take of the water of life freely. So our Savior placed himself within the reach of everyone, even such as there is in the greatest peril. Jewish tradition declares that just as there were signposts at every corner saying refuge, refuge, so we are to be declaring throughout all kindreds and tongues to every creature that Jesus is a refuge. So number one, Christ is easy to reach. Number two, Christ is open to all. The Jew and the Gentile, the Greek and the barbarian, to all people. The echoes of Christ opens arms are throughout all the scriptures. It says in Genesis 3, 9, and the Lord called to Adam and said, where are you? So when man sinned, when our forefather, Adam, the first human being, fell into sin, who went looking for whom? God went seeking him. And invited him to a solution to his sin problem. You see, Jesus Christ is open to all. Isaiah 45, 22, God gives this testimony. He says, look to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is no other. I already quoted Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. I can see Jesus Christ looking out. At the, at the multitudes as they trode upon one another, the scriptures say, as they were like a sheep without a shepherd. And he had his arms out and he says, won't you come to me? A little bit later he says, why won't you come to me that you might have life? And he says, my arms are open wide. In fact, even on the cross, whenever you look at the cross, think of it as Jesus Christ's arms are open wide. Even the method of execution that God the Father ordained and Lord Jesus Christ fulfilled shows his arms open wide. Jesus Christ is open to all. The Bible ends with, as I read, the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, take the water of life.